Yeah. Yeah. Hiking down the trail. Yeah. Man, all that water flow goes. Man, it must be windy out there, it sounds. That sounds like a hurricane. <laughs> All right, guys, I got the privilege. I'm right here in the middle of the forest. I'm gonna ask Ron Barry a question. How many Denisovan people were there, Ron? Like oh, there a were, number. There like, were thousands. Thousands? Thousands. Like 30,000, 100,000? Oh, I, I don't know about, I don't know that. I know that uh, they originally were found in the, uh, where China, Mongolia, and the Southern Siberian come together. If you look on a map, they kind of come together. It's a place called the Altai Mountains, and, and that's where they discovered the uh, original cave. The reason why they're called Denisovans, it, the cave was named Denisova. And so that's the first place that they found a finger bone. But since then, they have found many like jaw bones and other bones of the Denisovans that shows they were huge giants. Okay. And they've been found all over Western China, all the way down into Southeast Asia, uh, into Indonesia and uh, that area in there. <clears throat> there were two groups of them. The one group that went down into, uh, toward Indonesia, the southeastern part of Asia. And then the other group was up uh, where, as I said, where Mongolia and uh, uh, sub Southern Siberia and uh, China come together. And some of them migrated westward. And it's a belief among some, and I, I share this belief, there were a group of people called this. I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not pronouncing it right. The Salu, Salutarians, uh, who lived in uh, southwestern Europe, uh, in Spain and southern France, and it's believed that somewhere between about 15 to 20,000 BC, they crossed over an ice bridge into North America, up through like North of Iceland, through Greenland and then came down the eastern coast of North America. And uh, it's believed, well, it's known for a fact that the DNA of the Abidjwe or the Chippewa and uh, the Cree Indians <clears throat> have a lot of Denisovan uh, genetics wow. and a lot of D D uh, Denisovan DNA in them, like up maybe as much as five to six percent. And uh, it's believed then that that they they were sort of the leaders. They, the, you know, the people, the the Chippewa and the uh, Cree were already here, but these new people came in, sort of became the leaders, and they're the ones then who turned into the Adena uh, peoples, and they're the ones that uh, helped build all of the uh, like the Great Serpent Mound and all the other mounds that you find in Ohio and West Virginia and. Kentucky in those places, uh, they were sort of the elite leaders. They were the they were the smart people, the architects, you might say. The Ron Berries. Uh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> but uh, these were very large people. A lot of them six, seven, eight feet tall, uh, and very they were very uh, brilliant. In fact, is uh, in this one book it talks about how they had autistic uh, tendencies. A lot of people think autistic people are not so smart, but that's not quite true. It's probably uh, many times you have what's known as autistic savants, and they they can do just tremendous things with their minds, and that's kind of like what these Denisovans were. Now, if we go back to the book that I love, wish people would read, Revelations of the Metatron, it speaks of the Amen people or entities. I believe, and this is my belief, I can't prove it, but it's my belief that the Amen, the Watchers of the Bible, and the Denisovans are all one and the same people. Also the Anunnaki. Uh, they were people that were to, put here on this earth to aid human beings, to uplift human beings, nice. and to help them. And that's exactly what the elite leaders of the Adena culture did. They helped the human human race human yeah. race yeah. now let me go back about the watchers the book of enoch paints the watchers as a terrible group of people or entities 
but in reality if you look at the bible <clears throat> they're only shown twice in the bible once in jeremiah 4 i think it's 4 16 and in daniel chapter 4 you see the watchers mentioned and nowhere are they painted in a negative fashion in fact they're painted right alongside what they call the holy ones which would be the angels and if you read revelations of the metatron you'll find out that the amen and i believe that corresponds to the watchers were actually God's he, he preferred them to the angels because the amen never never uh, became disloyal you got to remember some of the angels became disloyal and uh, they followed another mm -hmm. entity rather than God and so God's favorites were the amen or the watchers amen. now let's go in and talk about the Nephilim a minute the original giants were these Denisovans or Amens, and they were good. And that's exactly what the Cherokee Indians say. They say that there were two groups of giants. The first group were good, the second group were bad. What happened was the sons of God, which were uh, the angels, the fallen angels, <clears throat> they intermarried with the daughters of men. Uh, again, <clears throat> we need to differentiate between man or men and humans uh, the daughters of men were the daughters of the watchers or the amen or the denisovans and when the angels mated with them they created a, a race of giants that were evil and that's what the nephilim are and those were the second group that the cherokee talk about and they spread throughout the world <coughs> But both groups existed at the same time. There were good ones and there were bad ones throughout the world. And it was the bad ones you wanted to stay away from. And that's the reason, supposedly, for the uh, Noah's flood, to wipe out the evil Nephilim. Because uh, they were evil. Uh, many times they would practice cannibalism, all sorts of gross, gross things. They were, they were horrible entities. But it wasn't the fact that the, the daughters of men were seduced. They were innocents who were seduced by these fallen angels to create these uh, Nephilim giants. But giants existed prior to that. I, I, I want to say that there were two groups of giants. And the original giants, the original Denisovans, were not bad entities. They were good. And so we need to differentiate between the two. Now, I know it's a common, it's a common uh, dogma that the... Uh, Fallen angels mated with human uh, females. I do not believe that's the case because it makes specifically, it says the daughters of men. And I told uh, Lance earlier to do some research about Anastasia. She's called the Lady of Siberia. And she always refers to herself as man or the daughter of man. She never calls herself human. And I think she's also uh, a descendant of the Denisovans, of the Watchers. And they have great powers. They, got, they have great uh, mental powers uh, beyond anything that we can comprehend. And uh, they a actually aided uh, some of the good angels in building a lot of the pyramids and a lot of places like Stonehenge and places like that. They aided in that process. The Watchers and the good angels cooperated. But the, uh, you know, the watchers have been painted in a very negative light. And it's just unfair because read the Bible and it never paints the watchers in a negative light. Only the book of Enoch does that. And uh, the book of Enoch was written by several different authors. And uh, I'm not saying there's not truth in the book of Enoch, but somebody had an agenda in writing that book. And they painted the watchers as just tremendously evil people and that's just not i, I don't, don't believe that's the case uh, okay that's that's too much i've talked here all right guys i got ron berry coming up behind me we found our spot yeah right here ron uh, yeah you see uh, it, you can get here i think uh we might go up it well, i don't know we'll just i'm gonna go right towards it 